Solar thermal energy works by concentrating sunlight using mirrors. The, the light is then shown up on top of the tower where there's a solar receiver. And in that receiver there's a panel of tubes which uh, steam is flowing inside. That steam is heated to uh, high temperatures and then it flows back down the tower to a turbine at the bottom of the tower, a steam turbine, and uh, the steam flowing through that turbine spins a generator to generate electricity. The temperatures that we've attained are over 550 degrees and at pressures above 24 megapascals. This is called supercritical steam generation and it's a, a state where steam actually transforms without boiling. The steam conditions that we've achieved are comparable to what is running at the moment in fossil fuel power stations. So we're able to actually either displace the steam that goes into these, reducing the fossil fuel reliance, or in some cases, maybe even replace fossil fuel completely. It's really exciting to work on these types of projects. Um, doing a world first is always exciting, but in this case, what we've actually been able to do is potentially uh, make a step change in the way solar thermal power is generated. Oh.